What's good, everybody? All right, so today, I feel like eating some pizza. Anyway, that's not the topic. That's more of a tweet. But anyways, it's uh, Saturday. It feels like a Friday, but it's Saturday. Um, in the basketball world, um, the Lakers and the Mavericks played yesterday. It was a good game, although I only watched like the first quarter. But uh, later in the game, I believe, not, I don't remember well. I seen a highlight where, uh, what's that guy's name? Luca, he ripped his shirt. I think he was frustrated or something like that, but I don't know. They didn't, they didn't really explain it. They just showed the clip of him just getting the shirt. I think he missed or something like that, but his eyes were red and stuff like that. And like he just, like he was sweaty and stuff. He was, he just ripped it. And uh, I don't know. I feel like that's a brat move, but you know he has his his things. I, personally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't rip my shirt. But you know, I'm not an NBA player. I don't know. I I haven't played like that, so maybe I would. I don't know. Who knows? But uh. They played, the Lakers won. They, the Mavericks lost by a lot. They were losing by a lot. They were like half, half, bro. So they were like, like in the beginning of the game, it was like 40 to like 20 points. And then it was half. And then it was like, I don't know, I think it was like 80 to 40. I'm not too, too sure, but. Later throughout the game, they started catching up and they ended up losing by like 20, which ain't too bad. But 20 is 20. On the other hand, the Pelicans won. It was against the Knicks, but a dub is a dub, bro. Easy, easy. RJ Barrett is doing a lot better. So, RJ Barrett is a guy that used to play with Zion, I believe. He's all, all, all I believe, bro, because I'm not a hundred with none of the the college world uh, players. But anyways, R.J. Barrett and Zion, they were homies. One got, one went to the Knicks, one went to the Pelicans. And he's doing pretty well. And who else? Uh, oh, Zoe was doing all right. Brandon Ingram, though. They're talking about how he might get a max. So, when they say that, oh, he's going to get a max. Because Brandon Ingram's a, a free agent this year. Or well, next, yeah, this summer. So, he might re-sign with the Pelicans if he does. So, so when they say he's a, he's a max, he's going to get a max. That means, again, I believe, because I'm not 100. But I think it's a... Uh, when you're the highest play, the highest played player on the team, like you're the max, or you're maxed out. I don't know something like that. And then usually maxes are like four years. So like LeBron, he's four years with the Lakers. I think it's they have rules and stuff. You know, on the media they just post four max contracts. You know, four years. But I believe there's rules. I don't know if it's after two or three years. You can leave. But the other team has to pay what's remaining or something like that. It's like a, an agreement. I think that's how Anthony Davis was supposed to... Something about Anthony Davis. I think he was supposed to leave this summer. But he ended up leaving last summer. I like this whole, this whole thing. Because, you know, like I said... I think the Lakers play, paid the Pelicans. This and that. But so far, it's a good season. It's alright. I mean, the Pelicans are still ass, but... You know, they're getting better. So, that's pretty much it for today. Have fun on a Saturday night. And uh, enjoy some pizza for me, because I don't have pizza. Pineapple on pizza. Let's get it.